One, two, jump. That's it. Adobe just dropped something here, the brand new rotoscope tool inside Premiere Pro. No more jumping in After Effects for basic masking, Premiere can now do it all. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use new rotoscope tool step by step. To use the object masking tool, you need to use the Premiere Pro beta version. After clicking on beta and enable the features, click on new masking. This will add the object masking tool to your timeline. Now here is our object masking tool. Let's see how accurately it can perform. I have added a video clip. Now if I select the object masking tool and click on the object I want to mask in the video, it selects the entire object within just one click. Wow, that's awesome. I have selected two objects. Next I need to go to effect control and from there if I click on tracker, it will take the entire section. But still, the video background have not become transparent. To make it transparent, you need to drag and drop the object max below the opacity section. Now our video background is transparent. And we can add anything behind it. If you want to keep the same background and add something behind the object, we need to duplicate the video and delete the object max from the lower layer. Now we can add text or anything we want. Thank you so much for watching this video if you really enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel see you next time